it's Sonia from Junk Monkey. How is everybody out there doing? It is Tuesday. I love hanging out with you guys and I'm excited tonight because I've been getting some questions recently about um, colors and I want to be able to help you guys kind of like open your minds to thinking yes we have 25 of the chalky style pink colors and we have 20 of the milk pink colors but I want to show you how you can even make the uh, colors that we've made available so far as we can continue to grow our color list in our line for you to be able to see that you really have everything that you need right now to make some pretty amazing colors. Stephanie, how are ya? Hey, Angela. Hey, Linda, Linda, Linda. What's going down, my friends? And Jesse as well is on here. How is everybody doing out there? Hey, RT. So I'm gonna show ya, Lisa. So tonight I'm going to talk color with you guys. And like I say, hopefully give you some inspiration tonight on just stuff that you can do with color, okay? And so specifically the color that somebody asked me for last night when we were live on here was, Sonia, do you have a burgundy color? Um, or what do I do if I want a burgundy color, right? So I'm gonna show you how easy it is. It's not gonna be hard. And I'm gonna show you even how to do it with a trusty little friend called a color wheel as well and help you pick colors that are going to work really well for your pieces because there are colors that just go better with with uh, colors together so sometimes you might hey Laura and Darcy and Andrea sometimes you might do pieces and they're not quite they're like Ugh, something just doesn't feel right I'll show you some tricks tonight the tricks of the trade okay and uh, can we give it up for special guests tonight Bob is with us in the room yes Elvis may have left the building but that but that's okay that's okay because Bob is here, okay? So I figure we're talking color tonight. I should totally bring out Bob. Who else loves Bob, all right? Who else loves Bob? Who else um, had fun watching him as well? So I'm gonna put this down so you can see what I'm up to tonight. Hey, Rochelle and Pam and Renee. Oh my gosh, Gaylene's here. The whole crew is here. The whole crew is here. Bob and everybody included. Okay, so you can stare at Bob's face right here. And, um, you know, I'm pretty sure you might see Bob even smile a little bit more as I start talking and all that good stuff, right? So tonight I'm going to show you how to have some fun with color. This is just one of my plastic color palettes. Um, sometimes when I'm mixing colors, and you guys know that I do not only furniture painting, but I love to do take my art in other places as well. So it's always fun to have some sort of a, like a plastic mat, or even like if you don't have that, you know what the other thing I have, right, is my plates. So same idea, use what you got. And I continue to use mine over and over again, like seriously, over and over again, okay? So yes, we're gonna have a giveaway today, some uh, hashtag banana bucks. Come on, I wanna see the hashtag banana bunch. And um, so tonight we'll do $25 giveaway to somebody who hangs out with us tonight and chit chats with us and have some fun with us. And uh, when I holler your name in at the very end, and I, Kate is manning the chat tonight, so you can all suck up to Kate, okay? All right, I'm gonna tip you forward here. Is this a good view or what? Like, I, I'm pretty happy with that view, guys, right? Like, yay! Okay, so let's talk, let's knock it out first. Somebody said to me, Sonia, how do you make burgundy paint, okay? Here's what I would do to make burgundy paint, knowing what I know with the colors that we have. I'm going to grab some of our, yes, I'm a girl, just get in there with my fingers, okay? Can't even wait for the can opener. We've got our Liberty Blue. Who saw that fireplace that I painted um, this past week? Oh my God, gosh, it's, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. And I got some red, okay? So with our red and with our blue, I want you to see what happens when I take out a little bit of each and how it can combine, right? All right, let's do it, let's do it, okay. So let me think here. I'll show you, you, let's see, what can we put in? I guess you, hopefully you can see my, my color space is here enough. So I've got some blue going down here and I'm gonna put a little bit of red into it, okay? Just like that and now I'm gonna stir it up. Stir it up. That's a song, right? Guys, what color do I have right now? What color do I have right now? This is all you guys going, Sonia, do you have a plum color? This is a gorgeous plum. Not quite raisin the bar because it's not as vibrant, but definitely a much more darker plum, okay? Now the moment I go ahead and I add a little bit more red into that to keep it on the reddish sort of side, and honestly, it's not an exact science because here's the thing, there's so many colors that you can get, right? But what I do is I just keep adding my color until I get the one that I want, right? So this is a little bit more more of um, our red apple into it and now it's starting to turn. Do you see that nice burgundy color that it's starting to turn right there? And our colors, I made the blend really nice. So let me see if I can show you. Do you see that? 
cool, right? So I can add more red if I want, if it's still a little bit too plumish. We actually had a color um, that we did this with and then we called it Pretty Plum. And um, we'll definitely bring it back. But until then, I just want you guys to know that you can make the colors that you need, all right? And so now we're closer to the red, like the wine burgundy. You see how I added more of the red apple to the Liberty Blue? And now we have definitely, do you see that? Like if you could see that, this one's gonna be look more, let me see if I can turn this light down a little bit so you might be able to see it even a little bit better. It's good to have light, but sometimes it can reflect, okay? So do you see that? Now we've got more of our, our purplish kind of color, the plum color that we call it right there. And then we've got the burgundy right there, boom. Burgundy made just like that just for you, right? So so fun I'm actually going to mix up some colors for you guys I think and put them into my um, and write down the colors that we use so we can save it Let me go ahead and put that right up there But I have a journal and um, this is where sometimes like, you know, you see this like mixing board I like to mix and have fun. Maybe one night we need to put a cover on this journal But um, we're gonna do some fun stuff in here do tonight do some color swatches because it's always fun Kate We love color swatches yeah, you love collar swatches, don't you? Okay, so here's a tip, okay, for you guys tonight. If you do journaling, if you're like me, and like I say, you just love to have art, you know, when I'm driving, sometimes I just want to do stuff. Like here is one right here that I did. Can you see it? It says the ocean is calling. You guys know... Let me see if I can come any closer. You guys know that I'm getting ready to go to Canada, back to my home in Newfoundland for a visit, and it's getting pretty close. So I'm really feeling like the ocean is calling me right now, right? So, you know, I do this sort of stuff. But the parchment paper is a tip I wanted to share with you guys because if you're working in like a paper book and you're just kind of like playing with colors and all that sort of stuff, use parchment paper. So when I do my swatches tonight, I'm gonna put my, my parchment paper underneath this next piece, okay? It's protected. So now I can go ahead, work on this piece, leave it open, and it will dry overnight, okay? And so this is what I've been doing though. A lot of times I will do stuff in here. This is like my stuff, like whatever I'm thinking of that day. This is one that I did, travel is good for the soul, uh, right here. Let's see what else is in here. So I keep adding. Um, I think it's really cool if you have a journal because like this is experimenting. Let me turn around so you guys can see it. When you experiment with paint, right? And sometimes when you're working on a piece of furniture or you're working on a decor, you're working on a sign, um, it's a lot more scary when you're actually working on the actual piece itself because you don't wanna ruin it, right? Whereas if you have a journal and you have a place to go ahead and um, just kinda like play with your colors, get your custom colors, thinking about how you want it to bring them together, the journal is a safe place just to, you know, to have fun with it, right? Thank you for sharing, guys. We are gonna do a $20 giveaway tonight. Here was a fun one too, right? Always remember, you are fabulous, darling, fabulous. All right, but we do have to put a, new, put a nice cover on here. So this is what I do. I put my parchment paper down, and uh, that way it protects this sheet for me to be able to work in, right? So I'm gonna grab a, I'm going to grab, push, put this down here, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of that. So we made this really cool plum color. I'm going to, let me see here. How would you want to see that? Like Maybe like that. Let's put our plum color down right here. Oh my gosh, I love this plum color right here. Right? So those of you who want plum, here you go. Plum, right there for you. Okay, so let's write down what we, what the two colors that we used to do this. We used our Liberty Blue. Whoop. Liberty Blue plus our Red Apple, okay? And... Then we basically increased our red, right? We increased our red apple. I'm gonna make a note here for myself. So next time I need to make this color. Now I've got like a system going down, right? So let me go ahead and get some of this off of here. So now this was our burgundy color that we made together. Try not to let it touch. But the moment we put more red, let's see if I can grab a little bit of that off of it. But the moment that we grab more red and put with that same Liberty Blue, now we have, do you see the difference in the colors? A burgundy and a plum, right? Which is really, really cool. All right, I feel like I should make that swatch a little bit bigger. Let me see if I can add a little bit more to it to make it work, because it was definitely more red needed to go in the, into there. A little bit more blue. So what's everybody up to tonight? Tell me. Tell me all your secrets. You know what I'm saying? Tell me all your secrets. All right, let's get that to a nice what we wanted, which was a really cool burgundy color. 
this is fun, right? Keep like a diary to yourself of like, okay, these are my color keys of what I used. So that way you can see how it goes from the burgundy and you see how the plum, and all I did was increased red apple to be able to get to that, right? Which is cool. All right, so there you go. All right, so for the person who said, how do you make burgundy? Liberty Blue, Red Apple, keep intensifying it until you get to that nice wine, burgundy, deep purple, whatever you want to get to, okay? All right, so this is my this is my trick to you, okay? This is my tip to you guys for tonight as you get better at your painting skill set and um, you want to be able to look at a photo and go, oh, I just, or, a, you know, something that you, you do and go, I really, really love that. So this is a color wheel right here and I'll put up the link to it. I'll have Kate in the background going, go ahead and put that up for me. It's one of my favorite things. Amy, did you just come back from Hobby Lobby? Oh my God, girl, we're just gonna live through you tonight. Okay, so this is the cool thing. It's called a pocket color wheel. So it's nice and small. These are usually right around $7 or so. Um, unless you can get them on sale, but basically it gives you like all the main colors and of course You know the main colors are like red blue and orange But it's like the secondary colors and the main main colors, right? So that's why I say when you look on the outskirts right here You can go ahead and you can find junk monkey colors that match up with the outside colors and then this inside wheel right here is Basically it tells you like okay if I add black to it. So let's say for example Let's say, um, let me see here, what can I do? Let's do something simple. Okay, we'll start with blue, because blue is an easy color. So do you see on here where, okay, actually we'll start with green. Let's just do green. All right, so this says tells me right here, when I move this window and I'm laying on the green right here, it's telling me that if I add red to green, then I'm going to get this color right here, okay? Which is, is definitely like a purplish kind of color, right? Then if I add red over to a blue green, which could be kind of symbolizing your mermaid tail, then red to that is gonna give you a purple. So sometimes if you don't have rays in the bar, but you do have red apple and you do have your mermaid tail, you got yourself a purple, right? Pretty darn cool. All right, so let's move over the red to a blue. Red and blue, pretty much we always know that, right? That's, that's a common one, red and blue makes purple, right? They're definitely a purple. Let's move the red over to a blue violet, if we put red on, if we put red, symbolize it in your mind, I'm thinking about, okay, this is my red apple. My violet's gonna represent my rays in the bar. So if I put my red apple with my rays in a bar, I get this really cool fuchsia color. Do you see what I'm saying? So if you have one of these and you're like, dang, I need to make myself like a certain color, you can spin this around to get it what you want, okay? So right now, like this is a, this is a really good one right here. Let me see here. Okay, this is a good one right now because we're going into fall, right? So if I go ahead and I put red and yellow together, what do I get? Orange. So if I have my red apple and I have my sunshine yellow, then I can make orange for my signs. And remember, you can you can play with it, right? Just like we did our swatches, you're able to be able to like, you know, intensify the color and that sort of thing. So you never should feel, as long as you have like your primary colors, you can really spin off of that and make all kinds of colors, right? So for example, um, now that's what I did when I spin this around using the little red cue at the top, right? And let them hit all the different ones and it showed me. But remember there's a section here for yellow and blue and like this is, this is a really good one. Like I love of what happens to color when I add white, right? So white to yellow makes this like really like, oh my gosh, lemon pie kind of color, which I love. Um, I'm thinking of lemon pie right now, right? So for example, you know, if somebody on here says, I want a sage color or a light green kind of color, and you guys know right now that we have our Lucky Clover, if you had vintage white to Lucky Clover, and you can continue to add as much white as you want, you're gonna get this really, really light green color, right? So it's so much fun. So again, aquas are made when you combine white onto a blue green. Okay, so what do we have in the Junk Monkey family? Well, we have Till River, we also have the Mermaid Tail, we also have the Bahama Jade, right? So you can play with that with what you've got, but the moment you add white to it, and our colors, um, all our paints are acrylic based, which what is what makes it so amazing for artists to be able to use, to be able to blend and be able to do really fun effects. I do portraits with them, all that sort of stuff, right? Um, so when I do the white and the blue and it blends together, I get this gorgeous aqua color. Remember, the more white, the more lighter it's gonna get. Now we have a custom color called Misty Aqua to help you get that color, but if you have white and you have one of our blues, 
you've got a really cool combo right there, right? Yes, you can totally make a special color. And you know, if you're somebody that paints furniture and signs and you wanna have like a signature color, maybe you wanna have just colors that represent your brand, all that good stuff, right? Like you can make whatever you want. Yes, I am a mermaid. This is why I love it when it rains, Susan. I'm, it's because I'm a mermaid and I'm this far inland, so you know what, it's the closest I get to water, right? Today I was filming a blog, a vlog, which is a video, video log for you guys from my YouTube channel. And I kid you not, I captured the loudest like bang of, um, of thunder. It was so awesome. Oh, I just love a good rainstorm. So black is also a good one, you know, to think about what you could do. So black to like a blue green is going to really intensify it and give you this really cool, like sprucey green kind of color down there. Um, and keep going, right? Like just having fun with it, moving these around. You know, if I add it black to yellow, I get, what do you guys call that green? Is it Sir Chu? What's it called? Oh my gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue. You know that like, there's a name for that really, really like green. It kind of reminds me a bit of our olive, I uh, love you more, but this one has a little bit more yellow into it. I forget what that is, you know what I mean? But um, somebody out there knows, is it, is it Sir Chu? No, I can't even say it. What's, what's that name, Kate, help me. I all I can think of is Chartreuse? Chartreuse? Does that sound right? All of that. Oh, good golly, Molly. All right, so this is white to orange, okay? So white, so if you need an orange, you already learned that red and yellow makes orange, all right? Then you add your white to it, and now you got yourself a peach. Makes sense? Chartreuse. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> So yeah, so how fun is this? So get yourself a pocket color wheel. Um, Kate's putting up the link so you guys can find it. Get an Amazon Prime to you, seriously, and keep it as part of your painter's toolkit. Now the other cool thing is what I'll show you on the back, okay? Char Trues. See, thank you for breaking that down for me. Yes, there you go. Thank you for the help. So you guys got this, right? Move this little doohickey around, get your primary colors, and off that you can make pretty much any color in the world, okay? Now this is why sometimes it's satisfying to the eye when you paint something and you're like, I just love how that turned out, okay? So, well thank you, I appreciate that. I love helping you guys on here. And I think this could be something that can really help you take it to the next level. You know, when you're stuck and you feel like you, there's a color you wanna use, but maybe you just don't, you don't feel like you have that custom color. And you guys know I'm also somebody that loves to like, you know, I love to flip furniture, I love to do everything I do on a budget. And so just knowing, you know, you know, you don't know what you don't know, but when you have knowledge is power, that if you've got the primary colors, you can spin off and do all these colors, you know what I mean? And you don't need to have every single color, but if you, you kind of, maybe you wanna do a stencil in a different sort of one, right? So um, this is the back side of the color wheel, okay? This is the other thing. So when you're painting something and you're putting a stencil on something, when you're doing, whether it's a canvas painting, whether you're doing a really cool montage of stencils on your piece or just you're, you're pulling colors together, I wanna show you guys that on here can really help you. So sometimes it's really nice to be able to understand how there are colors that complement each other, kind of like, you know, when you dress, it's satisfying to the eye. Some stuff, you ever just like put something on and sometimes you hit on colors and you go, oh, that is so good. And then other times you're like, I just don't know. I just, you know, is it better if I switch it up to a different color blouse? So yeah, there you go. So I wanna show you on here some of the great colors that go together, okay? I showed you how to make an orange, right? If you wanna make any sort of shade of this orange, it's on the front. But if you pair up orange and blue, that's a complementary color because it's directly across from each other right here on the color wheel, okay? It says complementary, okay? There's split complementaries, but basically to keep it simple, orange and blues are gorgeous. So if you do blends of orange and blues, like Liberty Blues, and you do your red and orange together to make a nice orange color, it's awesome, okay? So if you go ahead and you go ahead and combine like a red and a green, red and green, I mean, think Christmas colors, right? We love it, we love to see those two colors together and they go amazing together. This is one of my favorite favorite ones here, guys, I have to tell you, um, I love purple and yellow. Like purple and yellow together are to be his knees. I love it. And this is probably why I'm a teal lover, but I also say that I love like browns and things like that. Anybody else, like this is crazy I know to think, but I am probably, uh, I love color, but all my life I loved like things in the blue family, but I also like like earthy colors with that as to like complement it, like whether it's a burlap or whether it's like driftwood or something like that. Do you see what's across from each other right here? In the orange family, there's a brown base right there, right? It's a really browny, um, like really, really earthy orange right here. But do you see what's across from the blues? And so um, 
that's really cool, right? Our blue greens right here go really good with oranges and browns as well. So I love, I love these. A lot of times you'll see me do um, things that kind of go together right here, browns and teals. I love it. So hopefully that helps you. And I'll give you an example of something I painted recently. Like I told you, remember how I said on here that um, the purple and the yellow just spin off each other so nice. Like this is... In this book, I have some things that I was working on. You guys may have seen, I, I think I posted her on Facebook as well. If, by the way, if you're on Instagram, you'll see a lot of my art over there that I tend to do to keep myself occupied in the evenings because I love to create. And I love to create in all different mediums, right? Painting my toes when I grew up to what I do now, which is, you know, 99% furniture. But in my off time, sometimes I love to experiment with painting on other mediums as well. But do you see here, I have yellow and I have purple, right? Yellow and purple. And it just, you know, I've got done some purple shading and it just fits really, really nice, right? So, love me some teal, right? But this is another example. I told you guys on here that the, um, that the red and green go so good together, right? And do you see how there's like a sage green in here and there's a pink over here? And this is another example, right? Like this is a painting that I did here. I'm gonna share with you guys and do some teaching in here in my uh, Facebook group of how like to do these sort of style paintings as well. So I love to have fun, shabby painter, love me messy shabby paintings. But the point I wanna show you is this is pink and this is green, right? Do you see how that goes together so nicely? And then I did, of course, my blue background. But, you know, having colors that play off of each other in a setting are gonna make it so much more um, just pleasing to your eye. And as a result, you're gonna be so much more happy up here with your artwork when you understand how they come together, right? Pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. So yeah, go pick yourself up one of these little doohickeys. It's awesome. And uh, let's go ahead and just do a few more color swatches of kind of like how we see on here. So this told us that if we did red and yellow together, we're gonna get an orange, right? So in my mind, then I'm gonna grab my sunshine yellow, I'm gonna grab my red apple, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna go with it, right? And this is fun. You just ordered your color wheel. Oh, good for you, Susan. You'll be whipping up colors in no time. It'll be your own little custom paint, uh, you know, you have your own custom paint line of what you do. And that's what's fun. When people say, where'd you get that color? I'd be like, dang, I made it myself, right? All right, let's put a little bit of red in with that. And remember, you can play with it just to see what you want and where it's going to go. But I'm going to blend that together with what I've got going down there. I'm definitely going to have a little bit more. Um, this is really, for me right now, I can see this is definitely like a salmon color I've just made for myself, which if you love that salmon color, there you go, there you go. I'm gonna put a little bit more red in it, see where it goes. So if, I don't know if you saw that. I should Actually, I should, should, I should do a swatch of that before I go any further. So this is just a red and yellow, and this is a really cool orange right here. Do you see that? See that like rustic orange? Total fall color right there. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And then you get to play and you're like, hmm, well, let me see. If I add, do I wanna add more red or do I wanna add more um, yellow to it? And you can keep intensifying the color and playing with it until you get exactly what you want, right? So you're definitely not limited. Now I'm using the Chalky Style Pink colors tonight because they're the pre-mix one, they grab a brush and go bananas. But you can also do this with our milk paints. The only difference is you just have to take the time to activate, you know, you have to like mix your pigments together <clears throat> before you go ahead and you get started, right? And um, so you mix your pigments and then you add your water and I don't have any water with me. So I figured this would probably be the easiest thing to kind of show you, right? So yay, so this color continues to change. I'm adding some more yellow into it right now. I do like that color too. This would be really pretty for the back of a sign. Now it's getting more, definitely getting lighter. Oh, I love, love, love that. This is like a rusted root kind of color I have going on right now. Anybody know that like spicy ginger? So there you go. So I can change up the colors of the oranges that I want, right? To kind of get where I want. So I'll let those dry. And then of course, like something like, let's see here. Let's grab a lucky clover. Boy, we're making a mess tonight and just having fun with it. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of a Lucky Clover. And so remember, add in as much as you want to get the color that you want specifically. But let's do this and let's do a little bit of, I don't think I have a white with me, but I have some antique lace. So I, I'm pretty much a, you know, if I don't have white, I'm gonna use antique lace and see where it goes. So I've got some, let me pull this down. 
Can you see that right there? I've got my Lucky Clover right here. And now, yeah, totally, Tracy. Just like do your own. Sit down one night and be like, I really like that. And if you have kids, seriously, just be like, help mom make something tonight. Let's let's find a new color that we love together. You know, you can paint your dress or whatever you want. Oh my gosh, I love this color. So now Lucky Clover is now taken to this like really cool. And this is not white. I'm using antique lace, which is kind of like a white. Like I say, I cheat sometimes because I'm not OCD about it. I just if I want to get close to a color, I'll get close to a color. Now I have this minty green. Actually, it's a color that you guys would really um, would know if you knew our colors before, as they're all kind of coming back in a parade. But um, this is this reminds me of the green turtle color, Lucky Clover with uh, antique lace gives you that gorgeous you know what i'm talking about right the green turtle oh my. yeah go for it uh, if you want to do this for a piece of furniture how do you configure the paint so what i would do is okay so i i'd identify like how big is my piece of furniture and then I would go ahead and just make sure I know what I'm putting in. So basically, because if I got to do a big piece and I want to make enough of it, I would start off with me maybe being like, okay, I'm just going to judge and I'm going to do like, you know how you have mixing spoons? Mine are really behind me. So just do like equals and write down what you're doing. Okay, so this is what happens when I take a half a cup of uh, Lucky Clover and I take one quarter of a cup of white. Do I want to go lighter? Okay, let me write down right below because you've got your pencil with you. All right, I'm going to add in another two tablespoons of that white. But whatever, once you got your recipe, it's kind of like when you're baking cookies. If you have a recipe, then you just go ahead and you, you know, you just, you're using paint instead of like flour and sugar. You know what I'm saying? So you've got two colors going on and all you have to do is just increase to make a change. So I love that color right there. I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit more white and see what it does. Or not white, but you know what I'm saying? My, my uh, antique lace to get it a little bit lighter. So I can go so, so light to the point where I have an absolute mint color there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do, I like that mint green too. I love that, and you know what goes good? Remember when like, what? when was it that like mint green and brown went really, really good together? Oh my gosh. So I feel like I'm getting like a minty kind of, um, but honestly, even like, like I say, like a sage, kind of like really, 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 really um, light color. Let me mix this out with my brush. Love it. Look at And this is why I use a painter's tarp, guys. So, yeah, let's go ahead and put that light right there. So, again, there you go. So much fun. I could sit here and just make swatches and have fun with this. All right, let me put that in my cup. All right, so to get my rusty root oranges, I used, guys, help me. What was it? Red apple and sunshine. Sunshine yellow. And then you added more yellow. Kate is over there taking notes, and uh, she's painting her door. How's that going? Yeah, it's almost done. The almost done. Tape hid part of the door, so I had to cover it up. Again. <laughs> yeah. So tonight you're gonna seal, right? When you think yeah. when you go home. Nice. So if you are doing something that's for a piece of furniture and you, you gotta make enough to like go your entire piece, just make sure you write down what your colors that you use, but also the um, like as you add stuff to get it so that way you can just, you know, double your recipe. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean. I know you guys bake, even though, you know, I'm not listen, I just can't grow stuff. I do like to bake from time to time, thank goodness, but I'm married to a chef, so you know, you know what I'm saying. All right, so look at that. Look how pretty that color is right there. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, let me show you here what I did. So this is fun some nights, even just to sit down like on one of these fall nights and it's a colder night outside and you just wanna, you know, you just wanna, girls just wanna paint. Let me move this big old thing here real quick. Let's see here. And like I say, I use paper plates as well. So you don't have to feel like you have to go out and get one of those big palettes. But if you do, I will tell you, you can get them at Walmart for like honestly for like maybe all of like three or four dollars. Let's see here if I can like bring this up so you can really see this, okay? Yeah, and it starts to dry, right? Okay, let me see here. Oh, up, up, and away we go. Give me a second here. Make sure you're not gonna fall on me. Okay, all right. There we go. How fun was that, right? The most popular colors? Um, is there any? There's a lot. We have a lot of popular colors. And all the colors that we have out right now is really the ones that you guys have bought up again and again and again, right? So we're pretty much 
filled with all the most popular colors right now as we bring back all of the 40 colors that we originally had before we move from hand making our paint to working with a manufacturer and um, you know so that was the only thing that we when we made this move that we had to um, kind of like you know it, it costs a lot this is what's really cool when you guys share the junk monkey and the videos that we do here what happens is more people find out about us more people try our paint they fall in love with our paint and then as a result we're able to go ahead and invest back into the junk monkey and bring you out more colors and more fun um, products and things like that right but just know that as we work our way back through all of our colors you got this you totally got this right I'll talk about that owl in just a second so do you see some of the colors we made tonight guys do you see them right there Oh, I love it. And this is just on regular paper, but I just kind of did some swatches, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, just make sure you use, you know, make sure you, if you're doing anything in your journal, make sure you use um, parchment paper to be able to help it, okay? So I'll show you real quick this owl. I actually did it today. Who saw the vlog, the, um, well, not the vlog, the, um, what do we call it? The how-to video. I actually filmed a video on this piece today and showed you guys how I brought it together from beginning to end. Talk about swatches, like seriously, I am somebody who, this is the back of a door that's been kicking around here, and um, I do, I swatch stuff a lot before I start to paint and to be like, mm, do I want that color, you know what I mean? So you always gotta have something to work on. But this is just an old salvage door, I put some mouse in the house on it, and you see me paint it in a time lapse, okay? So you'll see me do a lot of those videos as well, because yes, I love doing live videos, and I will never stop doing live videos, because I love hanging out with you guys and taking your questions and really being able to help you guys become better painters painters. Um, but I also know that there are some people out there that they just would rather watch something happen in a time lapse without all the talking and without all the hanging out in the community that maybe they just want to know something right real quick. And so that's why I'm really looking forward to doing like um, a lot of different videos going forward, not just live videos, but also time lapse videos. So this was my time lapse video I did today. So if you want to just go ahead and hear me do a voiceover real quick, like, hey, I put my paint down. Next step, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do put my stencil down. I showed you how to do the ombre effect. I showed you how I brought it together. Like serious, who's ready to go just paint their kitchen cabinets and like maybe or maybe not put owls on them. Your husband might freak out. But um, you know, you can just have so much fun, right? Yes, I'm finally getting my new studio set up. So it's a work in progress, but it will mean lots of good things for you guys. Guys, lots of lots more videos, more fun, more projects. And um, so I am super excited. So yay! Um, yeah, make sure you go back. You know what? I think I'm gonna do something fun now that I think about it, because this is kind of like the launch of my like Different, different sort of videos um, on my page. So why don't we do this? I'm going to give away $20 tonight when I pick somebody here momentarily who shared this video and type share below here in the comment section. And uh, so you guys can get a code or you can get a code and go ahead and shop online at junkmonkeypaint.com and just pick something you wanna try um, and get $20 in free store credit. And I think what I'm gonna do, so I would love your help on this if you would help me. When I'm done here, if you would go back to um, the last post before this one, you'll see me do a time-lapse video of this one. Anybody who would love to help a girl out, share that video to um, help spread the junk monkey love. And I think tonight I will go ahead and I will um, announce a winner. How about that? Announce a winner uh, of somebody who shared this video, okay? So go find this video, not the photo, the video. And um, I'm going to give away another $20 online coupon um, to go um, and just shop some Junk Monkey, okay? How does that sound? Pretty darn cool. Yay! Well, I hope you learned lots. Thank you, first time viewer. Heck yeah. So um, make sure you go do that. And I will go ahead. Just make sure that the names that I announced tonight, I'll announce one here now. I'm going to have Kate pick one. That um, And then like maybe like in an hour or so, I'll go and uh, announce the other one on the other one and I'll put the name below the photo, okay? So you guys can see it and tag the person so you won't miss it. How's that sound? Pretty cool, right? All right, Kate. Kate's working her magic. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Emily. And if you guys have any questions on like what you'd like to see me talk about or do, all that sort of stuff, you guys know I'm total game for it. So uh, now that I have, um, I just I just have a space to be able to do these videos much more often, and um, I really enjoy doing videos for you guys. And so if there's something you'd like me to see, like the person last night who said, "How do I make burgundy?" You got it now, right? You're covered. And you know how to how do I figure out what colors gives me what? So hopefully that's answered your question for you as well. We've got some projects to do this week. I was at Goodwill, and um, I've got lots of projects that I found for real, real cheap. So tomorrow we're going to paint a piece of furniture together. So be here, or be square, um, and as we paint together. 
And uh, while Kate is maybe picking a winner, I did. you already have a winner? Yeah. Dang, girl moves fast. All right, I'm gonna paint this bowl real quick, okay? Bob, are you okay if I paint this bowl? I think he said okay. All right, let's go ahead. All right, who is our winner, Kate? I'm gonna put some antique lace on this bowl. Cindy Jordan Wheeler. Cindy Jordan Wheeler. Let's give her a minute and see if she's here. What do you think? What do you think? Thank you, Barbara. Um, I just enjoy creating, and like today I came in and I saw this old cabinet door that I turned into the owl behind me. And you guys know that I used to paint cabinets, like that was the primary thing that I did for a period of time. Learned a lot with that. And, uh, but I also did sample doors for my customers, and so I had a lot of doors hanging around. So sometimes, not sometimes, for me, it's like I enjoy just creating with what I have around me. So if I find, for example, some of these wooden bowls around, um, I'm gonna paint them and turn them into like my paper clip holders and things like that, right? And uh, yay, look how nice that came out. Really quick, really quick. Let's go ahead and put some on the inside right there, right there. Because, um, yes, I'm, I'm definitely going to need more uh, pretty things to put around my studio, right? You know what I'm saying? You guys see that? Like, how easy was that? Just a little bit of antique lace. I don't even want to take it inside. But there we go. There we go. Super cute. Super, super cute. I can stress it in just a little bit. i got to put it down, though, so I don't touch it too much. All right, is Cindy on here? I she hopefully, is. yay! All right, Cindy, all you have to do is email me at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com and do it before midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time, or else you turn into a pumpkin, right? We know how this goes. And um, that way I can hook you up. And I'd love, yay, Cindy, do it now so I can send you your code before I actually leave my shop for the night, okay? And we will be back again tomorrow um, doing a piece of furniture and you'll see what I have planned. Thank you guys for hanging out uh, with me. Yay, Claudia! And I'll see you again tomorrow. Go back and share that video. And I'll give away another $20 coupon tonight, okay, for somebody who shared it. And I'll tag you and tell you who you are. And I'll do it within the hour. And send your code tonight as well for you. Because I'm just feeling like it. And uh, then you can go ahead and shop, okay? Yay! Yes, they are, Jessica. So, so fun. Oh, Shay. Oh, very, very nice. Heck, yeah. Going out of, out of business, get some stuff. Heck, yeah. Heck, yeah. All right, you guys have a great evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.